This entire video has been shot on Harmony OS devices and edited on Harmony OS devices. Welcome to this video where I want to show you the brand new update of Harmony OS that arrived on my MatePad Pro 2019. And I want to show you the brand new features of this update and to take a little bit deeper into the OS. So let's get started. So this is Harmony OS 2.00128. As you can see here, the changelog is pretty small. What it added as the main feature is the new launch bar or what people requested me again and again, again to say something about the dock. It's finally there on my MatePad Pro and it allows easy access to frequently and recently used applications and adds free script and text editing features allowing you to convert handwriting in the text box into text input as well as select or delete text and add remove spaces using shortcuts. So this is also a feature I will show you later. What has been improved is multi-screen collaboration. So if you have a Windows PC and want to use seamlessly this with another PC, uh, with another with your Harmony OS tablet, you can do so now. Audio quality has been improved in certain games and Wi-Fi connectivity, especially for the Wi-Fi bridge, has been uh, improved. So this is what has been changed. And here you can see the brand new desktop with the dock at the bottom. And the dock has all the features, just like on the MatePad Pro 12 and Mate. 11. So we have our favorites here on the left and on the right we have our recent used applications. What we can do is in the middle you can see this little, we can drag this out to have like four recent used applications or we can also go and make it one only if you want to. So free I think is the same um, setting so we leave it as free. What I can do also with the pen, I have a Huawei pen, is I can go and hover over one of those and you can see then a little preview of the gallery. For example, if I go into the gallery here, you can see my screenshots and uh, my previous recordings of uh, my Huawei tablet. So this is pretty fine and this is pretty cool. Another cool feature is the new feature that this they described as like scribble feature where I can just go, I can for example search for something, I can with my pen just type in what I'm searching for, for example I want to search for music and it's typing in music as you can see which is pretty awesome and I can uh, do this in every text box around the system so not only here especially useful maybe for web browsing or for other stuff if you are doing notes and want to uh, put them somewhere of course, the notepad has already this feature, but now it is globally available for all system input where you can just type in what you want. You can do this here as well. If I want to type in, uh, where do I want to go? I want to go to files. And yeah, here we go to files. Here we can see another new feature of files. It has now a two pane layout where we have on the left some stuff and on the right some stuff. Before it looked pretty much like this here. The recent tab has not been updated yet, but with a lot of wasted space here. And now when I go to the uh, browsing tab, for example, what I have now is the possibility to um, see a double pane setup where there's not so much wasted space. I have my optimized tablet user interface here with a panel basically where I can choose different sources that I want to see just like for example my audio source or I can go into my tablet I can browse here through Huawei Share for example and I have all the options available that I had available before. So this is a design update they did for the tablet specifically and I can imagine that other applications will be optimized as well. One thing that I can say for sure is the music app for example has also a slight update instead of having on the bottom all those tabs, they are now aligned on the left side. So they are changing and optimizing the applications also for the tablet, which is pretty awesome, I think, and a good thing because a tablet has been yeah, neglected a little bit. The tablet user interface has been neglected a little bit. Now with Huawei pushing Harmony OS on the MatePad Pro 12 and MatePad 11 and also on older devices, I think they are doing a bit more optimizations for the tablet itself. So these are the big new features. One feature that I want to mention and want to show you is a widgets feature that I missed in the last time. 
it is when you swipe up from the bottom here to the middle uh, I don't want to use the task switcher I'll do it quickly I can go to my snippets which is basically another layer where you can add widgets and you can see the various different widgets that I have here and let me for example remove this one widget here I can remove it from my favorites and now it looks like this I have all the options to rearrange the widget as well so if I want to rearrange it, put it here for example, then we have a more uniform look, I don't have to scroll too much. I have some suggestions, what I can add as widgets to the home screen or remove as well, see the suggestions. And I can go to discover to get more of those widgets. And if I want to add the calendar, calendar back, I can just go here, choose the calendar widget I want, add it to my favorites, or if I want to, I'm really fancy enough, I can add them to my home screen as well. Our, my favorites I think is pretty cool as well. So now we have this like here. And I like this idea to have another layer where you can store your widgets so you don't have to clutter your desktop with these widgets. Widgets that you might need eventually but not so often. But I find it a bit redundant if I take a look at the left screen where I also have widgets again. Where I have my calendar, calendar widget as well that I can configure here as well. I can manage it. I can change it to another calendar widget if I want to and this is called card here and yeah it's a bit um, like uh, Huawei is still figuring out the widgets and cards thing I guess we have to wait until we have like a um, complete overview a complete co consistent system when it comes to this but it's good that it's there it's there you can play around with it which is pretty nice. So this is basically almost everything that I can show you right now. I can ask, uh, answer some questions that you asked, like for example the desktop mode. I checked it again. I'm checking it all the time when I get a new update. The desktop mode is still the old Emotion UI desktop mode, so nothing has been changed there. And this is basically everything for this uh, update. I think it's a good update and if Huawei keeps getting out those features, bringing out those features uh, to the older devices in this space. I'm pretty, pretty happy. I like this device so far. The optimizations that have, they made, the speed of the device is pretty fast. And yeah, this is everything for this video. If I missed a feature, you can write it down in the comment section. Because you saw, not everything is written in the change log. Some features might be hidden there somehow. So write it down in the comment section. Otherwise, this is everything for this video. Like, share and subscribe. And until the next time, bye.